Christine Van Blocklin, travel writer and host for the Emmy-nominated TV series Curious Traveler. We are cruising the Mediterranean with Oceana Cruises on board the beautiful ship Riviera. And today we are checking out some of the culinary enrichment programs. But you see what's happening, how that's thickening up? Sizzle, sizzle, shrimp and salmon. The sounds, the scents, the sights, and oh yeah, the flavors. Welcome to Oceana's Culinary Center, the only cooking school at sea to offer hands-on instruction from master chefs. Since Oceana Cruises is known as the cruise line for foodies, during a typical voyage, there are a number of classes offered in the Culinary Center, covering a wide array of cooking techniques. So people come in here, they put on an apron, they put on a hat, they have a station and they cook. So it's to give them the experience of cooking foods from where they're traveling. We put our culinary skills to the test during one of the Culinary Center's most popular classes, What Mermaids Know, where we learned eight different techniques about fish cookery. You know, when at sea, do as the mermaids do. The professional teaching kitchen is amazing. Every student has their own cooking station, fully stocked with everything you need. After baking, poaching, searing, and most importantly, sampling our dishes, our immersion into all things culinary aboard Oceana Cruises was just beginning. Oceana complements the cooking classes with a collection of culinary discovery tours, where you tour the amazing destinations the ship visits through the eyes of a master chef and truly get a real taste of each locale. We join Chef Kelly on a culinary tour through Sicily, starting in Taormina with an historic fish market, or Mercado del Pesque di Catania, just like a local. Okay. What the heck is this crazy okay. braided thing? So this is garlic, okay. okay? But you'll notice when we buy garlic in the store, it's usually old and dried out. Whereas here, you can feel this, feel how fresh that is. Now, after all that fish and vegetables and garlic, it's time for dessert. So we continued on to a Sicilian pastry shop where we all learned how to make authentic Italian cannoli from scratch. Ta-da! Then Chef Kelly guided us through the windy alleys of Sicily to a hidden gem of a restaurant, Nero da Vola. Welcome. No way we could have found this on our own. There, Chef Turi demonstrated how he uses local ingredients, including fish he caught himself. It's a period that they design chobi, they are very fat inside. And one of the most unique dishes I've ever seen, a salad made of lemon rinds. Oh, it's very good. This special type of Sicilian lemon isn't sour, it tastes more like an apple, and comes alive in Chef Turi's salad mixed with sweet onions, homemade vinegar, and a splash of olive oil, of course. <laughs> We also tried other culinary tours. In Koper, Slovenia, we kept with our seafood theme, we aren't sea after all, and embarked upon the aquaculture visit, winery, and truffle luncheon. We took a boat over beautiful Piran Bay to the Fonda Osorki fish farm. Then, as this region of Slovenia is known for its truffles, we got to tag along on the truffle hunting expedition. Look at that! Then we enjoyed the fruits and truffles of our labor, or rather the dog's labor, at a delightful lunch at the vineyard's tasting room. After all this indulging, we had to remind ourselves that we were learning by experiencing. And what a tasty way to do it. So we've traveled, we've fished, we've foraged, we've shopped, and we've learned how to cook it all up. So now we'll be able to relive this tasty travel experience back at home. Yum. After experiencing the variety of culinary programs both on board and during tours ashore, it's easy to see why Epicureans recognize Oceana Cruises as the cruise line for foodies. For more information, go to oceanacruises.com.